Alright guys, I decided to make the Cyber Dragon Infinity deck, I guess. And uh, this is my first time playing it, and I'm facing the DDDs, or just different dimensions. So he goes first and just summons out the Mastrical Estramoner. Uh, gets a Covenant with the Infernal Gate and sets DD Recruit. Um, and just Night being the DD Recruit so we can't chain it and then I MST. And I get out. I get out the combo which I didn't think I'd be able to get. Turn 1 the first time I play it. But I did, and then I get an infinity and just attack directly. I have the set MST, which I'll activate on him. And then he just sets a DD Night Howler. So I'll just uh, attack over his Night Howler. Set the Lance. I'm just kind of top decking. He MSTs Lance. I let it go. Uh, I'm just going to attack into the Curry Bandit. He's going to play a Covenant with the Swamp King, and I decided to negate that because I know that that card can be pretty nasty, and they get out their uh, fusion. So he summons out Night Howler, and Special summons another Night Howler. So I'm just going to attack over his Night Howler and call it good. I'm going to set an MST in case he tries to go for something. Uh, he does play the Covenant and the Infernal Gate again, so I MST it. And I have game here due to the fact that that has zero defense. I drew into core and then I just attack with uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity. I actually kind of want to make this deck in real life. So that's uh, the game. Some more uh, Cyber Dragon stuff. Uh, Facing some cool forts, and I'll get out the infinity, and I'll be setting the space, and I'll be setting lance. I decide to space the sacrifice, and uh, he ends. So I decide that I want to try to take his, but he'll act, but he activates a. Uh, Tyrant's Temper, which is the first time I've seen this card played in Cloforts. Uh, Tribute one monster to activate this card. I'll face up monsters on your opponent on on the field that you own are unaffected by other trap cards. So that's all right. And that uh, you get rid of a lance, which is okay. He gets back his helix, and he just attacks into my golden jet. So I decide that I want to attempt to steal it again, in hopes that he'll just activate Tyrant's Temper, but he doesn't. And I just attack, and replay ends because he couldn't do anything, because if, uh, if he dimensional prisoned, I would have just negated it with infinity, and I would have had game. So... That's another one. At this point, I've been facing decks that have been burn related due to the fact that the ban list is next month and people are getting decks ready that are kind of retarded. And, you know, burn is a deck that is always around pops up around ban list season, you know. Because it it's not going to get hit because it doesn't really do make a big splash in the meta game. So I've been facing a lot of burn stuff. So I just automatically go for the cyber core, which allows me to normal summon out, or well, special summon out a few cyber dragons, which allows me to get infinity. Uh, he dualities. And at this point, the only card I cared about seeing from him at that point was the Watt Cobra. Because I was like, oh dude, I'm facing like Watts. It's been a while. 
but uh, I am not fighting one. He, uh, I made the drama trio, and I decided that I want that negated. So I negate it, and then he activates Wabaku, so I'm like, all right, whatever. I tribute core, and then I just get out another infinity. Uh, he gets he, Marshmallow on, and then I, uh, I negate Marshmallow on, because I don't want that going on. Um, he tributes my two infinities for a lava gold. Which, I'm, which made me really sad. Uh, Iwabakus. So I'm like, alright, you know, whatever. I don't know why he's not, like, setting anything else, but, you know. Um, I tr <laughs> straight up just tribute that Lava Gold for a quick draw. And, uh, he's getting a Swift Scarecrow, so I have a MST and a Lance. Now he's such a trio, so I just MST it. And at this point, I'm just going to be attacking him with Infinity, because I know he's not going to really... If he does anything, I'm just going to negate. So he's going to set Legacy. And uh, I'm doing the Soul Charge. He's going to activate Legacy, and I'm like, alright, you know, whatever. Um, he summons out Watt Cobra, and I'm like, this is the only chance I'm going to get. I'm just going to go ahead, make him uh, at 200. So I steal it and just swing for game. Even though I drew into the jet. Some more uh, Cyber Dragon deck. Um, I'm facing you as her Sinjus, which... Uh, it's pretty sweet because I recently got second with them at a locals. So I just go for the Dre, get out, just quick draw, just make them infinity. And then I just set the MST. He decides to MST my MST. I'm like, alright, you know, whatever. So I just draw into, draw into charge. He decides not to try to summon a comma one. He, he uses a Go Sinju, Sinju, Sinju R, and I draw into Instant Fusion, so I'm like, all right, you know, um, I can set up for a, for another Infinity. He, he plays the Go Sinju Training Grounds, and I'm like, all right, and then I just, uh, he summons Camel 1, and uh, he activates Camel 1's to effect to have a extra normal summon, which would probably be R, because he can't extra normal summon Camel 1. And I just decide to negate that, so he loses his card. And all I need now is an extra monster to ditch for a quick draw. So at this point, he lances my guy, and I decide that I'm just going to let it go, because he's not going to do anything. So I Night Beam the Vanities and just hit him for 23. 